Hey. <laughs> the reality. Yes. Yeah. Many have called them, you are chosen, chosen. It's time we have our hearts wide, wide, wide open. Because you know this life, I mean, you know this life, clean. it could be superficial. It's not a coincidence you're hearing this. You're hearing this for a reason. And there's a reason, a season that you're in because you gotta, you gotta repent for your sins. And you gotta let Jesus in, okay? Because in the Bible it says that there will be false prophets. And people will say, oh, oh, I'm the chosen one. Oh, 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 I'm a prophet, I'm this and that. Well, how about you take it up to God and make it up to God? Because, well, Jesus, for Jesus, he is so true. Lord Jesus, for Jesus, for Jesus, he followed through. And I don't know about you. I don't know about you. All I know is I got to follow Jesus. Jesus. He delivered me from all my numbing and pain. He literally rebuked all evil strain. Shut down, AZ bound. Didn't let the opinions of others tear us down. Thought of you as a friend, but friends don't do the things we did. Had you thinking it was love? I was playing pretend, drowning in sin. My flesh was weak, wasn't listening. In this life, in my mind, I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. I don't need no money or pride. What's right? I need you, Lord Jesus, now more than ever. Because under this umbrella, I can tell, I can tell the wicked tree of everybody caught up in their spells. And I pray for all my lost brothers and sisters that they stop, they stop, and take a minute to say, Hey, Jesus, He knows the way. Hey, I stop all my wickedness and I just follow, follow, follow. I follow Jesus now. I follow, follow, I follow, I follow Jesus now. Because Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, he's the one that made the sound. And Lord Jesus, he understands what's going on. Is that beat? Y'all, okay. Literally, just, just what happened, Simba, he, he got a girlfriend. But you give me, it's not his girl yet, but she came up to him. I was actually, like, I was scared for a second. I was like, what? Where did this dog come from? She pretty too. I said, hold up, boy. She came up right to him like, hey. <laughs> she was cute. Yeah, that's probably your wife. Yeah, I thought I was a boy. Yeah, I thought I was a boy too. I was like, oh, that's a snow dog. That's like in the igloos. You got yeah, because it was following. It was following that girl. I thought it was her dog because she kept looking back. I yeah. thought it was her dog and she left it out. And he literally looked at her and came over here. And I was like, whoa, is he? No way. Yeah, she's very sweet. Simba, that's your type. I could tell. Relax, okay? He's crying too. Relax. He got scared though. He was like. He, he still got his balls. You get me? Mm -hmm. he, he on one. And the more he grows up, the more manly he gonna get. I'm gonna be like, hey, I'm gonna do extra boot camp with your boy. Hey, Simba, you gonna be a daddy, just not yet, okay? Simba. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Yeah, he's fine. Your love, your love is 
really more than enough. And I thank you, Jesus. I thank you for everything you do. And I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. No longer confused. Because who, who is the, who is the, I have a question. I have a quick question. Who is the author of confusion? The devil. Thank you. Yes. choice you rebuke the devil in jesus name because he's the author of confusion jesus he's gonna tell you straight up how it is and he's gonna handle your father's business I pray in Jesus' name that every chain be broken in Jesus' name and forgive them, Lord, for they do not know what they do. And I thank you, Jesus, for no longer 
for no longer. I thank you, Jesus, for delivering me from darkness because I was just like people now, literally smoking weed every day. I was literally caught up in the club every day and fornication, lied. And I was thinking I was doing good. I thought, you give me, I thought I was living the fast life. Like, ah, yeah, I'm doing good. No, I wasn't. I was lost, scared, and insecure. And I thought that me being up in the club or me smoking all that Mary Jane was gonna get me to where I need to be. No, because in the Bible it says to have a sober mind. God can't use me. God can't sculpt me. The great sculptor, the Alpha and Omega cannot sculpt me. I'm his clay. He's my sculptor. He can't sculpt me the way he needs me unless I be sober, unless I follow the Ten Commandments and I repent for my sins. Now, this is to share the gospel, to spread the truth, because the truth shall set us free. Everything that's dark has to come to light. Do you see how the sun is right now? You see, it's shining bright. Eventually though, the sun's gonna go down. It's gonna get dark. Thank God though, God is with us through every storm. God is with us even in our dark times. Even when we feel like we're alone and he's not there with us, he is always there and he's present. And when we call on him and we say, Jesus, I'm back, just those simple words, Jesus, I'm back. He is able to help you. He cannot help you if you keep running away from him. He's not He's not the author of confusion. He's not Satan. He's not here to force you. God wants us to choose him, to choose him and say, you know what? I tried everything else but follow you. That's what happened to me. My mom, I wasn't grow, I didn't grow up in the church. All I knew was that if I believe I'm a good person, I'm going to a good place. It was open. But that, me being that open made it more open for spiritual attacks or more witchcraft for more sorceries and lies. The thing is, when you keep it on your narrow path, God, he knows your parameters. He knows each step you take. He knows what moves you're going to make each given moment, okay? And, you know, this is not to hate on the next person, okay? I'm just sharing my testimony. I'm just sharing my truth because I feel like that's how we all learn from each other when we share the truth. If I say, you know what, I was addicted to doing drugs, I was up in the club doing cocaine and I was doing Mary Jane. You know, I'm straight up with it. I'm telling you straight up. That's what it was. And I'm telling you, it's toxic. I literally look back and I'm like, ew, why did I treat myself like this? Why did I get caught up in the world like that when my mom told me straight up, don't do drugs? It's because around the company we keep. If we're around a whole bunch of people doing drugs, if we're about around a bunch of people that don't want to see anybody prosper, if we're around a whole bunch of haters, guess what we are? A hater. The birds of a feather flock together. That's why we have to be around people that are striving to be better, that are striving to build businesses, that are striving to be healthy in Jesus' name. How about we stop talking about everybody and their mama, and we talk about business plans, foundations, okay? Because, uh, you know, hey, I'm not innocent. I be gossiping, and you give me, it's like an adrenaline. It's like, ooh, that really happened? And you give me, you, you take the tea. You're like, oh, hold up. That, that happened? Oh, hold up. That happened? No. Let's not feed in gossip and drama. The social media, what we watch, literally, it's all about drugs, alcohol, sex, um, all lust in the eye. How about we talk about, you know what? I've been where you, you, you're walking. We're here to make a difference. We're gonna make change and spread the word, okay? All glory to God alone. Because without God, this is nothing. We're just specks of dust. Just here on earth. Okay? You got to take each moment and run with it. You know what? Today I'm gonna I'm gonna tell everybody about Jesus. Today, I'm gonna make a scene for Jesus. You give me I'm gonna walk up in the store and say, Jesus is Christ, Jesus is King. Without Jesus. We wouldn't be here. All right, sometimes we just gotta say it loud and proud. You know You know what? Repent for your sins. Listen up, y'all. These are the end times in Jesus' name. All right, every chain of demonic strongholds is broken in the name of Jesus. Many of you, you get me? Y'all walking the wrong way. Please repent for your sins. Jesus loves you. If that's all you gotta say, literally in public, just say, Jesus loves you! And say it loud 
that seed is going to be planted. People are going to be following Jesus because you're saying it with your chest. You say it with your diaphragm. Jesus loves y'all. I had to do that, actually. Okay, you know what? Let me get back to the music, but I'm going to share something with y'all real quick. Literally, I was downtown Dallas singing and walking. I had food in my hand. I went to this Asian restaurant, and I was walking with the food, and I saw a homeless person. It was a pretty big pile of, of, of food. It was like a, you know, those to-go box containers. I was walking, and I was walking, and... A lady she was just like um can I have that and in my mind I was already gonna give it to her I was gonna offer it to her and she's like can I have it I said yeah you can here you go and then she's like I wanted a burger literally she said that she said I wanted a burger I'm like oh it's a uh, Chinese food just comment below what she did to me Lord have mercy Comment below what you think she did to me, for real, right now. Comment below what you think this lady did to me, because I'm gonna, I'm gonna share it. <sighs> All right. So look, this lady, right? Hand her the food. I wanted a burger. I said, Miss, it's not burger. You mean it's a, it's Asian food? And she takes the food. I'm literally like this with my guitar. She literally takes the food and throws it at me and my guitar. Literally, the food splatters all over me. And you get me? Hey. What would you do if someone did that to you? All right, I'm gonna tell you what I did. I literally took a deep breath and I yelled at her. I said, Jesus loves you! Because what, what am I gonna do? Fight a homeless person that's on drugs. What am I gonna do? Stoop down to her level and throw something back at her? No, I'm not gonna act like that. Because thank God for Jesus, right? Thank God for the Holy Spirit. Okay, the Holy Spirit Holy Spirit leads you to forgive people that have done you dirty. The Holy Spirit for, forgives and literally forgets your sins. If we forgive our brothers, that means, A, God's going to forgive us. If we judge our brothers and sisters, guess what? God, God going to judge us. So that's why we have to rise up and say enough is enough. Because, hey, God bless that lady because I don't know where she's at right now. It was months ago when that happened. But it's about what you do today that makes a difference. And that's why we gotta rise up. Because I don't know where y'all from or where y'all watching. It's cold out here though. I'm from Arizona. Okay, the lowest it gets is 50 degrees. And I'm still wearing flip flops and shorts and a hoodie. That's it. This is different. Simba, <laughs> literally. Simba, he not used to this. Come on, Simba. You're not used to this. You used to Arizona desert, desert areas, okay? Now, the videographers that are behind the camera for right now uh, they from the east coast with it hey 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 they're gonna share their testimony too that's gonna be on on like our foundation page though so y'all make sure to like and subscribe down below and don't forget to love the people that you stay with i know it's hard right now you know i gotta follow my own advice it's hard right now just love them show them love because they're human too and we all fall short and we're all sinners and when we show them with love and grace hey god's gonna do the same thing to us and he's gonna bless us multiply the fruits of our labor in jesus name amen kiana renee out yeah. what up everybody make sure to go follow me on all platforms and if you don't already go ahead and and click the link in the description for my website it's going to show you all my all my platforms that you can follow me at and go ahead support the ministry support my music by downloading breakthrough it helps support quality videos and be able to make better music as well just getting better and better each day so make sure to go ahead and download download that it really helps me do what I do and keep doing it. All right, and then now at the store, if you feel led to, go ahead and cop some fresh merch. I designed these myself, so I got stickers, I got hats, I got shirts, I got joggers, and then I got this Child of God tee, Romans 8, 16. Y'all go cop your fresh merch, y'all, and thank you for everyone that is subscribed to my YouTube channel. Make sure to click that notification button, 
and thank y'all. All right, till next video. Kiana Renee, out.